Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, permissions, or parental controls as they call them in Windows 7, but uh, you, I don't really like that name. Uh, permissions uh, is a lot more accurate because there's some situations where there's adults that should be blocked as well, uh, and it doesn't mean that they're bad people, it just means that you know they accidentally make modifications to your system that can cause it to stop functioning. So I'm going to show you how to do permissions in Windows 7 on uh, certain users that are already in your system. So let's go ahead and get started. It's easy to do. Select the Start Menu button and uh, we're going to select Control Panel. And uh, what we're going to look for here is under User, user Accounts and Family Safety, we want to select Set Up Parental Controls or Permissions for any user. And now all the users will actually show up. As you can see, my wife has a very awesome profile image. Anyways, <laughs> it's at this point you can actually create a new user account if you need to, but if the person's account already exists, uh, we can just go ahead and select it. For the sake of this tutorial, I actually already created a test user, or the test us, or uh, test user, and uh, just select whichever user, and we're going to actually, uh, at this point, enforce settings. So by default, it's set to off, and we want to set it to on to enforce current settings. And uh, it's at this point you can actually select very specific details. So you can actually kind of highlight what days of the week they're allowed to use it. That's kind of nice. You don't even have to hold shift. And you can click boxes individually if you want to. Or you can drag, yeah, sure, all day Monday he's allowed to, but no day is Tuesday. You know? And uh, I guess you could do this to mess with your friends, too, if you really wanted to. But uh, we'll not go there. So once you've done that, uh, just select OK, and it'll set those settings. Uh, for games, you can actually control what games they can play set by the actual rating of the game. So I can say set game ratings. And so we're going to say allow games with no rating, uh, and then we're going to go down here and which tags are okay for test users to play. And it'll actually pick the ones below it. So if I say mature, then it's mature, teen, everyone, every you know, everyone 10 plus, everyone early childhood. Adults only is everything, basically. And so you can kind of go through and pick whatever uh, age group you want them to be able to play for games. When you're done, of course, uh, oh no, down here, you can actually even go in further detail. And if there's details on it, you can say, sure, they can play mature games, but not if they have comic mischief. I know it's a weird combination, but maybe you have a deep-seated belief that comic mischief is the root of all evil. I don't know. You could. So if that's the case, you can block that. When you're done, just select OK. So wow, there's a lot of a lot of options here. <laughs> when you're done, select OK, and that'll uh, set up that one. Um, and then we're going to go back here, and we can uh, allow or block specific programs. So this is actually a good one if you want to keep people from pirating on your computer, or if they keep messing up settings on one of yours, or damaging applications, or you want to block them from the internet, you can block the browser. So you can actually set up what programs uh, directly that they can block. So go ahead and select that, and say they can only use programs that I allow. And it's going to load your uh, program list. Once it has loaded your program list, you can actually go through and individually select which programs they are allowed to use. Um, so they, they do a pretty good job of organizing them because it actually shows you the, the root executable of each program. So you can actually block certain sections of certain programs as well. So this list might be rather extensive, uh, but uh, you know I recommend just going through. This is for more detail. This is like if you're really trying to, trying to strap down here. And uh, if you scroll down here, on the right-hand side, it's a little deceiving. If you scroll down, you can actually select them all and then go through and disable certain programs. So that makes your life a little easier. Once you're done, just select OK. Now, that's all there is to it, actually. That's how you set up permissions in Windows 7. This will make sure that uh, these particular users will either have access or not have access to certain features of your computer. And it's a great way to protect your computer from future issues that you might have. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by, and uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe on YouTube, Twitter, or Facebook. And uh, don't forget to swing by the forum if you have any questions, or my website if you want to get all the free downloads that I've collected over the years. And stay tuned, there's plenty more to come.